Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea begins in goal. Marcus Rashford starts with Jadon Sancho on the flanks. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And now they get the ball rolling. Jeffrey Schrupp. Mitchell. Wilfred Zaha. Mitchell. Moving the ball effectively. Now what can they do from here? Now the attack fizzled out. Frankie de Jong. Bruno Fernandes. Eriksen. It's a fine United move in the making. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Schlup. And still looking for space. And the danger cleared. De Jong. Here's Ronaldo. Jaden Sancho. Cristiano Ronaldo. And return to Ronaldo. Wilfred Zaha and Crystal Palace moving the ball forward what can they do from here still level here but the pressure escalating fine tackle there to prevent the chance Malassia your wife is waiting for you Rashford couldn't keep it Are you? And no luck keeping possession. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now with Rashford. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Well, possibilities in the centre. Rashford. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. And a goal! One nil here. Yeah. 
Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. And they get the ball moving again. Can Palace come up with an answer here? Oh, nice ball over the top. Gallagher. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Ronaldo. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Played over. So nearing the break, and it's United on top. Stuart, how about your critique of their first half display? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. There will be one minute added on at the end. Ericsson. Rashford. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, no doubt about it, Stuart. Cristiano Ronaldo in the first half deserving... All Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Anderson. A creative look about this. Zaha. On to Mateta. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Tidy in possession. And showing fine vision. He's got to score! Can they stop it going in? Well, able to survive that attacking push. And he's clear his lines. Malasia. Sancho. On to Bruno Fernandes. He's trying to create something. Cuts it back. De Jong. Opportunity here. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? United will switch things around personnel wise. Can someone get on the end of this? 
struggling to get it away. Well, they survived the attack. Schlup. Mitchell. Well, Palace are certainly controlling the possession, as you can see, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. And the corner kick, the referee's verdict. And they're making a change. And over comes the corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Schlup. Effective challenge. United might be able to cash in. How about the cross? Chance to finish! And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Van der Beek. Can he finish the ball? And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Can he convert? And thumped away. And a chance to whip it in here. Ronaldo. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Ayu. Benteke. Tremendous ball played through. Well, United, I think, deserve to be in front. They need to see this through, though. But what backing they're getting from these fans. The atmosphere is electric. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Lisandro Martinez. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp they can't get near the ball and that is the end of the game it goes down as a united triumph the fans are going to be happy with this well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well-earned victory and on the back of this no doubt about it Cristiano Ronaldo generating headlines well, he was a real nuisance today. He always looked a threat, and of course he got the winner. He was probably the difference between the two teams.